Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be doing some more requested reaction videos. And this video is requested by Jason Poole. And it's got to be the Terminator of Genesis Review. Jesus Christ, the Terminator for Genesis. I remember this. I've played it before and whew, it's quite a treat you guys are going to be in. <laughs> I mean, the game is... Um, actually, to be honest with you guys, the game isn't that bad. I mean, I've played it, but it was alright. I mean, it wasn't great. It wasn't fantastic or anything. I much preferred the Terminator 2 Judgment Day arcade game um that was totally awesome i must admit but the terminator for the genesis it was very poor and sort of bad but i kind of liked it it was one of those bad video games i did sort of play from time to time um but uh yeah let's see what this guy has to say about this uh game shall we i'm sure it's gonna be a doozy let's go <laughs> warning the following video contains profanity my favorite <laughs> Every now and then, it's nice to play a game that doesn't make me want to rip my fucking hair out. <laughs> and the yeah. Terminator for the Sega Genesis is thankfully just such a game. Although it has its fair share of flaws, it's certainly a hell of a lot better than some of the other Terminator licensed pieces yeah. of crap that I've played. Yeah, some pretty bad So ones. anyway, let's get into it. The Terminator for the Sega <laughs> Genesis. The game's graphics look quite good to me. Yeah. Admittedly, they're not as good pretty as the decent. Super Nintendo version of the Terminator, but they're certainly better than the NES version. <laughs> in particular, I like the design of the Tech Noir bar in the Computer Factory. Obviously, the game designers went to some trouble to recreate the look of the film, and their detailed work pays off here. Kyle Reese doesn't look that much like <laughs> his film counterpart, but it's close enough. That's yeah, alright. However, I do really like the animation where he pulls out his shotgun. It looks yeah, a lot like awesome. the film, and it sounds really cool. <laughs> and the Terminator's not too shabby either. I don't recall the Terminator endoskeleton looking seven feet tall in the movie, but <laughs> hey, it's not a deal breaker. Yeah. Even the cutscenes look good. As for the controls, they're very simple. A is for planting time bombs in the first level, B is for throwing grenades yeah, and shooting a gun, this and C is... is for jumping. And the directional buttons allow you to move back and forth and duck. Just like mini Nothing Rambos. Too complicated <laughs> here. The controls respond well, and I have no complaints about them. The game is divided into four different levels based on the film. First, there's the 2029 post-apocalyptic future war where you have to destroy Skynet. Then comes the streets and Tech Noir bar back in 1984, mm -hmm. followed by the police station and finally the computer factory. Throughout the whole game, you play as Kyle Reese. I've never completed the game, level, I don't think. you have to take out the bad guys there and complete a certain mission. In level one, you have to set a time bomb in Skynet's core and escape to the past using the time displacement equipment. In the second level, you wade through cops and punks back on the 1984 streets of Los Angeles. After which, you go to the Tech Noir bar, shoot down the Terminator, and rescue Sarah. In the third level, you do almost the exact same thing as you did in the second, only this time it's at the police station. And finally, in the last level, you destroy the Terminator at the computer factory. The gameplay is interesting because, in a way, it's both very easy and very hard. Mm. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell does that mean? How can it be <laughs> both? Well, here, let me explain. The game is very short. If you haven't played it before, it'll probably take you a couple of hours to beat it. Couple. But once you know what you're doing, I'd say it'd take maybe around 20 minutes or less for you to complete it. Month but to there get is a catch. The first level. You only get one life, and if you lose it, it's game over. There's no passwords, no continues, no one-ups, nothing like that. Yeah. So if you fuck up, you have to start all over again. And there are certain ways in the game that you can be killed quickly. And yeah. I mean very quickly. For example, if you walk into the hunter-killer tank at the beginning of the game, you're dead instantly. <laughs> or if you go near the time displacement equipment before you destroy Skynet's core, a laser kills you instantly! Damn. Also, you can die very quickly in the last level if the Terminator torso pins you against a wall. <laughs> Look at this shit! Kyle can't even yeah. jump over the fucking thing! So let me get this straight. Kyle Reese can survive a future war, outwit police and punks, <laughs> defeat a fully grown Terminator, and build pipe bombs to destroy it, but suddenly jumping over a Terminator torso is more than he can handle. <laughs> sure! And since the last totally. level is a kind of a maze, there's more than one spot where this can happen. If this does happen to you, I guarantee it will piss you the fuck off. I know, because it pissed me off. Mm. But with such a short game, I guess they had to make it hard somehow. The most annoying way to die quickly, though, has got to be stairs. That's stairs, right, of stairs. course. Everyone's see, worst enemy, the fucking stairs. if coming down a stairs. staircase and he walks into you, then he can take away your health very quickly and kill you. So getting a laser bolt or a Molotov cocktail right in your face is no problem. 
but simply walking into someone on a staircase <laughs> is suddenly lethal. Remember, kids, don't let anyone walk into you on a staircase or else you're dead meat. Moonwalk Michael the Jackson those stairs just <laughs> slowly go up and backwards. Particularly in the first level where you have to destroy endless amounts of Terminators with grenades. Once you get they the look right like Terminators, but they look like mini Rambos sort of. Quickly, <laughs> but it's still a pain in the ass. Another small problem I had with the gameplay is that the Terminator is ridiculously easy to defeat in all the levels. In the Tech Noir bar in the police station, all you do is just shoot him down three times and then run past him. And in the last level, you can blast the endoskeleton back with your shotgun. Mm. Though he somehow becomes invulnerable to gunfire when he turns into a torso, don't <laughs> ask me why. Honestly, I think they should have made him a tougher boss to defeat. Because if the Terminator were this much of a pushover in the film, Kyle and Sarah could have defeated him in about could be 10 worse. seconds. Considering how faithful could this be a game Terminator is, floating be, head like a Medusa head levels, like to do in all But I'll take a good game short bosses. game any day over a bad long one. <laughs> and at least this game doesn't have anything even remotely as stupid as this. Or this. <laughs> what the bullets bouncing off heads? What the fuck? <laughs> Music wise, I like the rendition of the Terminator theme in the beginning. As for the other tunes in the game, they're not that bad, but honestly, they're not all that memorable either. Finally, I noticed one thing I thought was interesting. There's a poster for the Terminator oh, film damn. right in the Terminator game. Yeah, I, never I find knew it kind of odd that they're promoting the movie this game is based on right in the game. <laughs> especially since almost nobody's supposed to know what a Terminator is. Anyway, I thought it was a nice little in-joke. Mm. It's a nice little Easter egg. So in conclusion, I'd recommend the Terminator. It's not a classic by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a decent little title that'll yeah, be a few It is decent. Hours it's frustrating. Game. It is. Considering some of the other Terminator games that have been released, yeah. that's saying something. This is Film and Stuff signing off. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. There have been some really bad Terminator games. Whew. Some of them are pretty good, but some of them are pretty bloody terrible. And finally, thank you to the viewers. <laughs> See you next time. Is he gonna say something? He normally does that every single video. There we go. <laughs> but it's bouncing off. Oh no, he didn't say anything. That's quite a shock. I think that's the first time he's ever done that. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the Terminator uh, for Genesis. And uh, I played the game. It, it is good. You're in for a treat with this game if you play it. It is... Um, uh, pretty good and it's pretty bad at sometimes I don't know it, it, just because sometimes it's difficult doesn't make it a bad game let me just clear that up yeah that's just me being biased you know a difficult game doesn't mean it's a bad game but from what I remember playing I, I'm, I'm biased because I played this as a kid and it drove me fucking mad uh, because it took me like a month just to get past the first two like bloody stages um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I suck at the game. Like I always say, I suck at video games. I sucked at the Terminator on Genesis. I just, just could not get used to the controls. But I, I liked the game. It was just really difficult. Um, as I'm saying, difficult games are not bad games. Uh, they're just challenging, and I just suck at challenges. <laughs> uh, it's just me that sucks. It's just, it's just me that blows. <laughs> That's it. The game's all right. It's just me that sucks. Uh, but, uh, yeah. That was the Terminator for Genesis. It was a uh, it was a decent game when I played it. I mean, if I played it today in 2020, would it still have the sort of same nostalgic sort of feelings? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I could be able to beat the game. Ho hopefully, I can do that. I could probably play it one day and beat it. But who knows? <laughs> but if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>